welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special video and it is another collaboration video. Now there are a ton of us who have decided to collaborate together for a Christmas tree decoration inspired makeup collaboration. Uh, we have some awesome, awesome designs, some awesome makeup looks. It's actually been so fun to connect with all these guys and gals uh, and seeing what looks everyone comes up with based on their item. My item of choice is Silver Bells and I love this look. I don't know what it is, but this month, every look I've put together, I've really, really enjoyed. And I'm super stoked because it actually makes me like super motivated to do a lot more makeup videos and to really like pound them out in January. So first of all, if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, please subscribe, thumbs up, and leave me comments. If you're visiting from someone else's channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. For my regular viewers, please guys, go check out everyone else's video. All the links will be down below to everybody's video. Uh, subscribe if you like their stuff. It does mean a lot to all of us when people subscribe uh, instead of just viewing the video. So I hope you enjoy everybody's look. Hope you enjoy my look. It would be a fantastic look for New Year's Eve as well. If you have a black dress you're going to wear or a silver gown you're going to wear or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoy. And if you want to get this look, keep on watching. So the first product I'm going to use is Cottage Cheese Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX. I'm just going to put this all over my lid and blend it out. And the first color I'm going to take from this e.l.f. quad and dramatic is the silver. And I'm just packing this all over my lid and keeping it below the crease and just trying to make it as intense as possible. And Cottage Cheese will help just to add a little bit of extra sheen underneath this glittery eyeshadow. Then I'm taking the darker silver, it's kind of a gunmetal, on a more dense crease brush and I'm just working this into my outer V making a V shape without being too severe with it although you could make it very severe with some tape and I'm just going to buff this into my crease and onto the outer third of my eyelid uh, I'm not bringing it too far in but just making sure your eyes are balanced and then taking a clean blending brush just to soften the edges but not to over blend and I'm just taking a silver eyeliner pencil and I'm putting this in my bottom waterline and rubbing it into my bottom lash line. And then I'm just taking the first color and I'm going to pack it onto that line. Please don't stab yourself in the eye like I did. It's very uncomfortable. And I'm just going to smudge out that liner. And then taking the brush with the second color, I'm just going to work this on the outer third just so that it connects with the darker shade. And then I'm taking some glitter by NYX and I'm going to pop that all over the lid where we have our lighter silver, so basically the two-thirds of our eyelid, as well as underneath your lash line. Now be careful with glitter because if you get it in your eye, it does hurt. And I'm taking cottage cheese one more time into my tear duct area and taking the white from this palette, and I am absolutely packing this on. I am making a very round shape, a very exaggerated shape, because the eye is so sparkly and this is the only matte part. And then I'm going to take my liner and I'm going to do a wing. Again, as always guys, do the wing as big and as crazy or as small and dainty as you like. I'm going for a compromise and I'm going to take some Falsies Eye Mascara and I'm going to put this on my top and bottom lashes before I grab some lashes from e.l.f. and pop those on. Now to finish the face, I'm taking this blush from my BH Professional Blush Palette and I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my cheeks. Again, you can totally add whatever shade is more your preference for your skin tone. I want a very light flush. And now I'm taking this iridescent white shadow from my BH Take Me to Brazil palette. And I'm using that as my highlight today because it is more of a white sheen versus the ones I have that are usually more gold because of the silver look. And I'm going to add that to my cheeks. And using a tip from T Nikki Tutorials, I'm actually going to put this over the, almost all of my top lip to help it look a little bit more plump once we put lip liner on. And I'm using a natural lip liner from NYX, and I'm just going to outline my lips and fill in just the inner corners of my top and bottom lip. Mm -hmm. And then I'm taking Heavenly by Rimmel, which is a really soft, pinky purple color, and popping that on my lips. Alright everyone, that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit me up on my social media. It's always linked down below. I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I am always on Snapchat. If you're nosy, check out my Snapchat. It'll be down below. And if you guys have any requests for looks for the new year or for now, I would love to know about them. I will have a couple more looks for holiday and for the next couple of weeks, including some lookbooks and some New Year's Eve looks. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you in my next video. See ya!